Hi guys, so in this video I'm talking about a book where a child with special, seemingly ominous abilities that sets them apart from their peers receives an invitation on their 11th birthday to join a secret magical organisation and face a nemesis who seems to have returned from the grave for vengeance. Sounds a bit familiar, right? This book, Nevermore by Jessica Townsend, is being widely compared to Harry Potter and it's definitely easy to see why. It's uh, the first novel by a debut author who's promising a long series set in this magical universe. It was the subject of a fierce bidding war between rival publishers who are all vying to get their hands on the next Harry Potter. Now I'll put my opinion right out there to start with, I don't think this is the next Harry Potter and I don't think there will ever be a next Harry Potter. In my opinion, Harry Potter was a singular and completely unique phenomenon which will never really happen again in publishing and it puts a huge amount of pressure on authors to make those comparisons. Also I feel like it might be a little bit damaging to the diversity of children's publishing if the benchmark of quality is to be seen to be similar to Harry Potter because then surely so many books that are great in their own right will be overlooked because publishers don't see them as having that same power over children as Harry Potter did. This was a great book, it's written with such wit and fantastic world building that I think gives it a similar kind of aura to Harry Potter but it's still distinct in many ways. There are actually other book series that have been very popular that I think this book is more comparable to and one that stood out to me as I was reading it was A Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket. It has a similar structure in that it's a series of bizarre encounters with really weird characters and almost impossible circumstances that I think really characterises A Series of Unfortunate Events. I think the setting in this book is the fundamental reason why I see it as being quite different to Harry Potter. For me, the magic in Harry Potter comes from the fact that it seems to be set very much in our own world and there's the sense that any child could receive their letter from Hogwarts and be invited to join this magical society that sits really firmly within the Muggle world. And this book is very different from that. From the very first pages you see that their society is very different to our own and operates by very different rules. This is really not a criticism and I don't think there'll be any child who reads it that struggles to believe the world that Townsend creates because she does it so brilliantly but I do think that this book is more pure fantasy than Harry Potter. It's hard to say because this is the first book in a series but I think the draw for children in this book is probably stronger than that for adults and although I really loved reading it I do think I would have enjoyed it a lot more 15 years ago when I was the right age bracket for it. And in saying that its appeal for children is stronger than for adults is really not to diminish it at all. I do think it deals with some very challenging and difficult themes. Uh, it starts with the funeral of a child for instance and death is a motif that recurs throughout the book. I think anyone that argues that those dark themes aren't suitable for children's books is really undermining their capacity to understand difficult and upsetting ideas. I think one of the biggest strengths of this book is that it's really funny. The main character, Morrigan, goes on the same journey as the reader in discovering this new world and her response to it is always very humorous and makes her a really relatable character. This is a real page turner of a book, as you'd expect from children's books, and there's always something exciting happening and I got the sense reading it that it's all tying into a much wider narrative that will be explored as the series progresses. I sometimes feel when I'm reading fantasy novels that the author isn't quite sure of themselves or they don't exactly know what's going on in the broader scheme of the world that they've created but when you read really good fantasy, whether it be Harry Potter or Game of Thrones or this book you feel utter confidence in the author that they know what's going on and they know how to re release this information to you when you need it. For me this was a totally absorbing read and I really do understand why it's being compared to Harry Potter in that it's just so immersive and you feel that you can completely get lost in the story and you just really want to know what happens next. If you really have no interest in children's books then this book's probably not for you but if you are interested at all in children's or middle grade fantasy then I would really give this a shot, it's one of the best that I've read in a long time. For me I try to vary my reading because I usually gravitate towards quite serious literary novels that can be really rewarding but also challenging to read and so it's really nice to pick up a book that is very plot heavy that um, takes you on a ride and is actually just fun to read and never feels like a slog and this was perfect for me for that reason. Let me know if you've read this book and what your thoughts on it were and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!